in a bustling city. Amidst the aroma of smoldering herbs and the hum of city life, a newly opened cannabis dispensary stood as a beacon of green in the sea of concrete. The exterior boasted a sleek, modern design, enticing customers with promises of relaxation and euphoria. Little did they know, within the walls of this seemingly innocuous store, a sinister presence lurked, ready to unleash its terror. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting an eerie glow upon the storefront, the doors swung open, beckoning customers into the realm of herbal delights. The interior exuded a sense of calm, with neatly arranged displays showcasing an array of strains, edibles, and accessories. Soft music played in the background, creating an atmosphere of tranquility. But beneath the tranquil facade, the store pulsated with an energy that made the hairs on the back of one's neck stand on end. Whispers lingered in the air, barely audible yet unsettling, like secrets spoken by unseen tongues. Shadows danced along the walls, shifting and elongating, their movements defying explanation. One by one, customers entered, their senses heightened by the tantalizing scent of cannabis. As they perused the shelves, strange occurrences began to unfold. Whispers tickled their ears, as if a spectral presence lurked just beyond their line of sight. Some claimed to have seen fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures darting between the aisles, their forms twisted and distorted. Amongst the customers, a group of employees, including Jeff, the store manager, shared tales of their own encounters with the paranormal. They gathered after hours, huddled in a circle, their faces pale with trepidation. Jeff, his brow furrowed, attempted to find a logical explanation. It's probably just our minds playing tricks on us. Stress and fatigue can make us see things that aren't there, he reasoned, though his own doubts seeped through his words. But as the days turned into weeks, the occurrences grew more frequent and more terrifying. Customers and employees alike reported the feeling of being watched, cold drafts that brushed against their skin and disembodied whispers that echoed through their minds. One fateful night, as the clock ticked closer to closing time, Jeff locked up the dispensary, ready to leave the shadows and whispers behind. But just as he turned to exit, the door slammed shut with an otherworldly force, trapping him inside. Panic surged through Jeff's veins, his heart pounding against his chest as he desperately rattled the door, his pleas for help swallowed by the deafening silence. The store's interior transformed before his eyes. Once tranquil and inviting, it now resembled a twisted labyrinth of malevolent energy. The whispers grew louder more menacing, as if a legion of tormented souls surrounded him. Leave this place. They hissed, they hissed, their words a chorus of warning and dread. But the momentary levity faded as quickly as it appeared, swallowed by the overwhelming terror that gripped him. Shadows encroached upon his trembling figure, tendrils of darkness snaking toward him with an insidious intent. Just as the darkness threatened to consume him, Jeff awoke with a gasp, his body drenched in sweat. Relief washed over him as he realized it had all been a vivid nightmare, a nightmarish glimpse into a haunting reality that did not exist. But the chilling memory of the dispensary's paranormal presence lingered, a constant reminder of the thin veil that separates the mundane from the supernatural. And though the store continued its operations in the waking world, the tales of its haunting whispers and shadowy figures endured, ensuring that those who stepped foot within its walls would forever question the line between reality and the unseen.